This is the PlayStation 3, and these are deadly and uncured diseases, cancer, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's. Would you believe me if I told you that the PlayStation 3 made huge contributions toward researching these diseases? Let's take a look at why the PS3 was so powerful and how millions of them were used for medical research. The PlayStation 3 uses a cell broadband engine for its CPU, and the custom reality synthesizer for its GPU. It's the first game console to support Blu-ray and 1080p video. Let's talk about that CPU. The cell processor is absolutely insane. It's 64-bit, and it uses a multi-core processor. This is why the PS3 was so hard to make games for. Developers weren't used to multi-core. That same cell processor was also used in Roadrunner, which was, at one point, the most powerful supercomputer in the world. The cell is based on the PowerPC architecture, and if you want to know more about that, you can watch my video in the top right. The GPU was equally impressive. It was known as the Reality Synthesizer, which is an awesome name for a GPU. It was based on the NVIDIA GeForce 7, and it used separate pixel and vertex shaders, unlike the Xbox 360. The Cell CPU and Reality GPU each get 256 megabytes of RAM, but they can share if they need. Both chips combined made the PS3 an absolute beast, and it ran games insanely well. Think about it, Grand Theft Auto V is the best-selling PS3 game, and it also runs on the PS5. Perhaps more impressive is the non-gaming applications of the PS3. The US Air Force built a cluster of almost 2,000 PS3s, which was used for analyzing satellite imagery. Oh, by the way, if you're enjoying the video, hit that subscribe button. I'm working on a ton more videos like this, and I think you'll enjoy them. But now, the story you've all been waiting for. How the PS3 accelerated medical research. This was done through a project called Folding at Home. It's a distributed computing project started by Stanford University in 2000. Basically, volunteers can leave their computer running when they're not using it to calculate complicated health problems. Folding at Home studies protein folding. Basically, our bodies are made up of cells, which are tiny, irreducibly complex factories that keep us moving. Proteins are tiny machines that keep those factories running. For it to work right, a protein has to fold into a super specific 3D shape, like the world's hardest origami. If it folds wrong, it can cause serious diseases. Studying how these tiny machines fold is insanely difficult, and it requires a lot of computing power. That's where the PS3 comes in. At the peak of the project, millions of PS3 users let their PS3s run in the background and calculate these complicated 3D protein models. Many millions of processing hours were clocked on PS3s alone. By 2007, the PS3 network was the world's largest distributed computing project. Once all the 3D proteins were folded, they were aggregated and sent to scientists all over the country. The main project PS3 users worked on was Alzheimer's disease, but they also researched cancer growth and Parkinson's disease. The PS3 made a breakthrough in Alzheimer's research. It found a commonly misfolded section of the protein, and the results are being used for drug research to potentially slow the disease's effects. It also made advances in cancer research, providing info on specific mutations and how to combat them. It's kind of crazy to think that a game console made several breakthrough developments for medical research. If a widespread Alzheimer's drug ever makes it to market, the PS3 will be partially responsible. Isn't that crazy? Let me know if you want to see more PS3 content in the future, like a game ranking or a console teardown. And if you're interested in teardowns, you should watch my Inside the Xbox 360 Slim video in the top right corner. Thanks for watching Wolfbite. I'll see you next time.